Okay, so I'm sitting out this morning having coffee earlier. I've just been out for a coffee. And uh, long and short is since yesterday I had my procedure, which I'll go into a bit later. I thought, I wonder if that radioactive tracer dye actually is still in my system. And <laughs> I may speed things up because it takes a while, but I noticed this morning that depending on where I put it around my body, and this morning I didn't have a t-shirt on either, it climbs up. It takes a while, but so it starts from background radiation and I don't know, up to my thyroid's there somewhere. It actually went up to as high as 30 microsieverts this morning. It's having a few pings there. Now this radioactive tracer dye, I was reading about it, stays in your body for up to 60 hours. I didn't expect any results at all, so I fired up my trusty old dosimeter. And it's probably not going to do it now, it's been about 24 hours. That's the point I had the uh, cannula put in. It went up to about 30 microsieverts this morning. That's part of a topic I want to bring up in a future video, by the way. It's starting to climb very slowly. So at the moment, that's background radiation, but it obviously decays. Apparently, it's beta radiation. Very small doses, we're talking. It was just too noisy to film this morning. Now it's going up slightly. The thing about science is often it makes a liar of you. This takes a while to react. It's not doing a lot, is it? Slight deviations. I was surprised I had any readings, but yeah, it was just too noisy. I've been out for coffee, and having said that, it's probably already decayed a lot further than this morning. Let's put it up near my chest. I went right up high around here. I want to say how I'm not talking dangerous. It did click over to 30 mil. 30 mil. Oh, I'm still slightly under the influence of all the anaesthetic, I guess. 30 microsieverts. But mind you, that was on bare skin. I don't really want to show you too much bare skin. Near my belly. Not going to show you my bare belly because some people may think it's creepy. <laughs> okay, so it's taken a while of moving about, but you went up to just over 30 microsieverts. It's very susceptible to where you put it, but. hanging around. That'll all be gone in another day and a half. Yeah. Well, I suppose I can show you an arm. Every time it clicks that's a, an electron or neutron hitting it. Yeah but I was surprised it went right up to 30 this morning. It's not a dangerous dose even at 30. Bearing in mind it's probably circulating with my blood which is constantly on the move. I should have really done it when I came home yesterday. And I've been drinking plenty of water too to flush it out, so it's probably had a bearing. Yeah, so it's just a demonstration, very rough one, of uh, there is a very slight reading that you'll get after you've had what is technically radioactive contrast. By the way, thanks to everyone that sent their well wishes about yesterday's surgery. As I said on my last video, I'll leave it probably three months this time before I do a summary of the whole situation and give it a good chance to see if there's any other problems, which hopefully there won't be. Those who follow my Instagram would have caught this quick post. Well, I'm here at the Royal Brisbane. I'm meant to film this outside, but just to come in for a day surgery, hopefully, to get this tube out from five weeks ago. So, yeah, hopefully see you soon. The surgery was extremely successful, by the way. The gallstone was still in there, but they physically removed it, so I'm not sure why I had to have the drain in for a month. But anyway, feeling good.
with the tracer dye they use to take x-rays and uh, basically look how things are flowing inside. Is it going up? Not really. Aww. <laughs> Come on, be radioactive Steve. Not very reactive now, I guess it's decaying very rapidly. Nothing to worry about, it's quite safe. But yeah, there we go. So, cheers, and I'll see you soon. Oh,